So hi, I'm Jan from Tessner, CEO of Opera, uh, and I'm informing in Florida. Thanks so much for joining us, Jan. So tell us about uh, your latest product, Opera Unite. So Opera Unite is a feature in the desktop browser that we have. And what it does, it changes the way the internet, the internet works. We, we see things are moving towards the cloud. We've been thinking what comes after the cloud. And with Unite, we've built a web server into the browser. And you are able to download applications to the server that can perform all kinds of actions. Simple actions like sharing photos, like uh, sharing files, but also for running more complex applications. I mean, we're thinking that not everything has to reside in the cloud. Not, you don't want everything to reside in the cloud. Whether it's an individual, you want to have your own personal cloud, or inside a company, you might want to have applications that are more closer to you. So instead of running everything outside, you would like to run something inside your own little cloud. And what we are enabling is all kinds of applications, uh, again, running on top of this system. Okay. So where are you on the rollout? And you know, do you have some marquee big corporate customers that you could mention? I mean, so, so far what we've been doing, so far this is available in the desktop browser. So you download the desktop browser and you run it. The applications we've been building, uh, yeah, what you're seeing is part of this being collaborative applications, which we think is very interesting for the corporate market in particular. Because again, if you want to work on, say, you want to work on a, a joint spreadsheet, that's one of the applications that people are building on top of this technology is a joint spreadsheet application. Now, if you want to do that today, you, you can do that in the cloud, but then the question is, is all the things that you're doing there something that you want to do there? Right. So this is something that enables you to build your own internal applications that are inside the corporation. We, we haven't, I mean, the technology is just launched, so there's been no big okay. deployments inside corporations so far. But it's clearly an interesting set of technology to build applications for the corporate. And, 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 and potentially, again, build applications that are more inside the network than necessarily outside. How do you see competition evolving in the mobile space? Um, for example, the entry of Mozilla into mobile. How does that impact you? Well, I think competition is great. We're used to competition. So I think if you look at what Mozilla is doing, They've been working on this for a very, very, very long time, and I think they will get there. And they will build a good browser, and that browser will be available for a certain segment, and they will compete. But we as a company, we try to cover everything. So we are available for almost any phone out there. And that means you don't choose the phone to run the application. You do, again, you can run it on any, any phone, whether it's a simple phone, a smartphone, a land smartphone, a touch phone, a keypad phone. We have a solution that runs, so the applications will run everywhere. So we feel our coverage is, 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 is a lot better. But Mozilla is aiming to do the same thing. I mean, my, my understanding is they, they have a kind of knee-jerk reaction to the kind of lock-in that you have with Apple. Um, well, I mean, what, what Mozilla has been saying is that they are targeting uh, certain smartphones. And we are targeting, so the smartphone segment is currently is about 12%. Yeah. That means 88% is left. Yeah. So we are targeting the smartphones, just like they're doing. Right. We're also targeting the 88% that's not smartphones. Okay. All right. Um, what's next for Opera? I think. A lot of the focus now is, I mean, there are two. Unite is a big thing, I and mean, Unite is just starting to get out there. And I think a lot of people don't really get the potential of this. I mean, I see this as the next generation of the internet as we know it. I mean, that kind of technology. Right. Um, I think the, in the mobile space, you just launched Mini 5, Beta 2, and mobile also. So that, what you notice is that they are looking the same. This is very important because it's generating a unified user experience across the mobile product. Um, very interesting to operate. Part of that also is then the widget solutions. So our widget running everywhere. So you will have applications that can run on your mobile phones, but also on your television and on your PC and everywhere else. Um, if you look at Opera 10.20, we're taking the widgets and running them as separate applications, more like a normal native application on, say, Windows. Meaning that you as a developer, 
again, the application runs separately, it has a separate runtime, meaning it's separate from the browser. It's using the browser to run, but from the perspective of, of uh, as a developer, if you want to build an application, this is giving more power to the developer, which we think is important. Okay, um, very good. Now, you are one of the few uh, technology companies left in Norway. Uh, do you plan on staying there? Well, well, we like it there. As a company, we are pretty spread out. I mean, about half the, the staff is in Norway. We're very proud of the fact that we have 55 nationalities working at the company. But we also have a fear, I mean, we are in 10 countries now and we are growing. Uh, but we do like it in Norway. So there's no plans to move the headquarters or anything like that. Okay, and what's the next step for the company in terms of, um, remind me, are you public or? We are public. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, we, we continue to grow. As a company, we typically grown for the soon to be 15 years. Wow. We've been in business. We've grown 40-50% top line every year. And obviously, we are kind of doing our utmost to, to keep the pace up. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to Informulo. Thank you.